I'm Jason Epperson. This is RV Miles, and it's time for the latest in RV and camping news. We begin this week with Oliver premium fiberglass travel trailers. Recently, we shared that Oliver had decided to end its very popular service program at the factory. Oliver's been moving from factory direct sales to a dealer network. And in that process, they were looking to move most service needs to dealers while only handling the most serious problems at the factory service center. Oliver fans spoke up and Oliver has now reversed that decision, saying in an email to customers that they have decided to leave their service facility fully operational for the foreseeable future. The statement went on to say, quote, Oliver Travel Trailers remains committed to supporting and training our dealer network to provide exceptional opportunities to purchase and get an Oliver serviced as close to home as possible. The Oliver sales and service team remains available to assist with any needs or questions that you may have. This is a company that's always been very responsive to owners' wants and needs, so I think this is really great to hear from a brand that has such a great fan base. Grand Design has given us a bit more of a look at the Lineage, their first line of motorhomes. In a short video rounding up all of the Grand Design brands, a still image of the motorhome briefly appeared, showing a short, boxy, Class C RV on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, kind of like the Winnebago Echo. Winnebago is the parent company of Grand Design, but I'm guessing the inside of this is quite different than something like the Echo. It has a large, deep slide on the passenger side and styling that closely matches the rest of Grand Design's models. The unit has solar on the roof and a small swing-out Euro-style window on the campsite, along with an outdoor TV and a wide awning. Leveling jacks are also visible underneath. Grand Design first announced the long-rumored Lineage Motorhome line over a month ago. I'd imagine we're going to start seeing these for sale sometime this fall, probably in person for the first time at the Hershey RV Show, which takes place early September. More in a moment, but first, this video is sponsored by our friends at RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Get a real mattress for your RV that you can actually sleep on. Did you know the mattress that comes with lots of RVs costs them less than $10 to put in there? They really are often meant as placeholders for you to then replace with your own mattress. The problem is sometimes it's hard to fill the odd size platforms they put in there. There's short queens and kings. There are RV kings that are not quite as wide as a standard king and different thicknesses. If you got a slide that closes over the top of your bed, you need a certain thickness to clear that slide. RVmattress.com has it all. They even have all sorts of different bunk sizes, real mattresses with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and they come shipped to you wherever you are from their factory in Arizona. They have all the different firmnesses you like. They have hybrid models with springs in them. Their mattresses are toxin-free as well. And right now you can get 35% off. That's the most they've ever discounted these. 35% off if you go to rvmattress.com slash rvmiles. You have to input your phone number and you get a text code and you get 35% off. Now that's going to be good through the end of the month. After that, our regular code RV miles will be good for 25% off at any time. Check them out, folks. RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Betting. RVmattress.com slash RV miles. Boutique Class B RV maker Nuvo has announced the Nuvo Plus, the first camper van in the U.S. with a seven foot high ceiling built on the Ram Promaster van super high chassis. Nuvo vans are propane free and use the van's engine as a generator. They have induction stoves, 400 watts of solar panels, lithium batteries, 30 gallons of fresh water and built-in Starlink satellite internet. The Nuvo Plus starts at $178,000. I'm hoping to head out there and actually get to take a look at these a little bit later in the year and share them with you. Used RV values are on an upward trend. That's pretty typical for this time of year as camping season heats up. Auction Lane Watcher Black Book says, quote, it's been quite a while since the average values for both motorhomes and towables sold at the wholesale auctions increased. But the RV market is very seasonal and we're getting into that time of year when the weather is starting to get nice and people are thinking about camping and hitting the road. At auction, the average selling price for motorized units was up 1.3% from the previous month. Tobles came in up 4.5%. Both are still well down from a year ago when the average motorhome sold for $73,000 and the average towable sold for $21,000. RV dealership chain Camping World has reported results for the first quarter, which ended March 31st, showing that while revenue continues on a downward trend, Camping World is outpacing the rest of the slagging industry 
in unit sales. Marcus Limonis, chairman and chief executive officer of Camping World Holdings, stated, quote, our intentional efforts to drive down invoice pricing and widen the customer affordability funnel resulted in our new unit sales meaningfully outpacing broader RV industry trends. We drove record new unit market share for January and February. Our same store new vehicle unit volume increased double digits in the quarter with momentum continuing through April. Basically, people are buying RVs with fewer bells and whistles and Camping World is selling them. New vehicle revenue was 656 million for the first quarter, an increase of 9.3 million or 1.4%, and new vehicle unit sales were 16,882 units, which is an increase of 2,970 units or 21.3%. That said, used RV sales have dropped significantly at Camping World. Used vehicle revenue was down 24% and the number of used units sold was down 14%. Camping World says the average selling price of new vehicles declined 16.4% during the first quarter, driven primarily by the lower cost of 2024 model year travel trailers. So that's that decontenting stuff we've talked about. The manufacturers have lowered their invoice prices, and part of the way they've done it is by removing some of the features that they've been putting in RVs. Camping World also attributes lower prices to discounting of pre-2024 model year new vehicles and a mixed shift toward more affordable travel trailers. Camping World's added 20 new stores in the past year, up to 215 nationwide, and 13 of those opened in the first quarter of this year. They do continue to grow dramatically. Two of the newest and biggest independent RV companies, Alliance and Brinkley, have both announced their first dealership locations that will exclusively sell their RVs only, and both happen to be in Arkansas. Moik's RV has opened Moik's RV Brinkley, which is the first ever exclusive Brinkley RV dealership in the U.S. in Conway, Arkansas, along I-40, just outside of Little Rock. The Alliance exclusive dealership is in Springdale, Arkansas, along I-49 near Fayetteville. It's operated by Camping World. Brinkley has also just opened its third plant in the Elkhart, Indiana area, a 200,000 square foot facility specifically for its new Model Z air travel trailers, according to RV Business. That's it for this RV and Camping News Roundup. Thanks so much for being here. Hit the like button if you got something out of this video. Subscribe if you want more like it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.